All right, Shalom. This is Brother Mayum and the Brother Ash coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, we want to give all the praises and glory onto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach, Wadash, double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, and most blessing and salutations to the Lachim who, who are diligently pushing on his truth and his truth and sincerity. All right, so uh, yeah, the brother's going to start off in his precept here. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from the Most High, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Karen, it said the neighbors of, of, of what? Uh, the neighbors of Zion. The neighbors of Zion, all right? So the neighbors of Israel have seen our captivity. All right, talking about these other nations. Yeah, all of because Because at one point, all the nations were our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, when you go back into the to the history, when you go back to when we was in our land, all right, that land over there in the Middle East, all right, and it said that then shall they see the salvation of, of Sion, okay, and that's the times that we're getting ready to approach, and really you starting to see it now because we're being we're being delivered out of this wickedness as we speak mentally, okay, for those for the uh, for the men of the Lord and the elect, okay. Yeah, this is a quick preset. <clears throat> to go with um, that verse 24 again Baruch 4 and so forth says like as now like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting alright this is Matthew chapter 24 and um Let's see here. This is Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Mm -hmm. And that's what's, that's, that, at, the, at, at the end of the day, that's how our salvation is coming. All right. Seeing the, uh, the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai, all right, coming in his glory, which is talking about the so-called UFOs. All right. His hopes, because you go into that, uh, I believe it's, it's the, well, let me just go into the word, um, uh, it's either power or glory. Let me get it. Then Matthew 24, it, one of the words, either power or glory, it means host, meaning his his army. Mm -hmm. uh, well, shit, we barely got signal where we are right here. Um, yeah, it, ain't, it doesn't look like it's going to load. Let me try one more time. Yeah, we ain't got no signal right here. What is it? Let me see if it'll pop up yeah. on my phone. Matthew 24 and 30. Uh, Matthew 24. Because the glory... Oh, I got it. Okay, it popped, popped up. up. Right, it says... Uh, I think it's glory. Uh, the power... No, it's, uh, let me try power first. Uh, nope, it's not power. But glory... Maybe it is power. Okay, here it is. Yep, the word for power say is G fourteen eleven, and it's the word dynamis, dynamis, and it says strength, power, ability, inherit power. But the point is on F. The point F is says power consisting in or resting upon armies, forces, mm -hmm. host. Mm -hmm. So there you go, man. Is That's he not the Lord of Hosts? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's that's how Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. All right, Yahweh Shai is coming back, as you see in that picture, man, with his power and his glory, man, with a great sword. You know, to bring that judgment, ultimately, really the reason why Yahweh Shai is coming back is, is 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 to deliver the elect. All right, yeah. As, um, read that again in Matthew twenty four, book of Shore. It's uh, back in Matthew, <clears throat> Matthew twenty four and uh, thirty. It says, "And then shall appear the sign of." The son of man in heaven, mm -hmm. and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And why are they going to mourn? Because, hey, whenever you watch these movies, uh, such as Independence Day, the people see these these so called UFOs coming in the sky, and they they fear. I got you right here. This is Revelation chapter one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, mm -hmm. and they also which pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, I'm not. Oh, so there you go, man. They're going to be wailing, man. They're going to be in fear of what they see because, one, 
Daniel's 12 and 10, they do not understand, man. Yeah, well and in mourning go hand to hand. Yep, yeah, because the righteous are going to, they're not going to be mourning. The, the, the elect is not going to be mourning, man. Because why? Because we understand what's happening. We understand that what we see in these clouds, that sign, which is that them, them so-called UFOs appearing, that, that's our salvation, man. All right, but what? These other people, they're going to be well and they're going to be mourning, man. Okay. Uh, you got that in Matthew still. Uh, this is, yeah, real quick. This is Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Okay. And that's why the Lord, that's why the Lord told us to look up, man. Not because we're going to be looking at the clouds and, and we're going to see a, 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 a shaggy dog haired a, a faggot coming from the sky. All right. A staircase of clouds is going to come rolling up out of the sky. And, uh. Our salvation is gonna come that way, man. All right. He told us that because he's gonna the, the 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 son of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh Shai, he's gonna come via them chariots, man. All right. The so-called UFOs, he's gonna come out of the skies. That's why we we are to be looking up because our redemption draws man. Yeah. All right. He cometh with clouds, like Revelation one and seven said. Okay. Uh, go back to that Matthew twenty four. This is quick. Matthew twenty four and thirty, and then shall appear the sign. Of the Son of Man in heaven, which are the clouds, mm -hmm. and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man, which we just read in Revelation 1 7, that every eye shall see, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Okay, so you see, we're going to be gathered. This is what the Lord is coming to do. And that's what we read in Baruch 4. We'll okay. go back to it. We'll, we'll go ahead. Okay. He's, he's, he's coming back to, to bring uh, salvations to the, to the elect of Israel. All right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the chosen few. All right. Because the scriptures uh, say many are called, but few are chosen. All right, and this is the many are called. This is the whole nation of Israel, and the few that are chosen is, is the, the, the election, the 144,000 and the rest of the one-third that are going to be saved. Okay, that's, going, that's the election. That's what consists of those that are going to be delivered. Okay, in them chariots. Okay, and that's what the Lord is coming back to do. Read that in Baruch. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, mm -hmm. so shall they see shortly your salvation from the Most High, or so like from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Okay, so just like we read in Matthew 24, all right, and the brother said, this goes with this, all right, because this is talking about Yahweh Shai returning, man, and that power and glory. All right, and just like the nation saw us in slavery, all right, to this very day, the, the these other nations, the so-called Moabites, with us, which are the so uh, the so-called Chinese, all right, the Ammonites, which are the so-called Japanese, the Elamites, which are the so-called East Indians, all right, all these other nations have seen our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in slavery, man. Yeah, I got they, a quick. Come on, go ahead. This is Revelation eleven twelve, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, "Come up hither." And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Mm -hmm. So the, those neighbors of Zion, kind of them enemies, going yeah. back to um, Psalms eighty three. Yeah. All right, all these other nations are right, there and are enemies. There are enemies and two thirds of our own people. All right, but our enemies they made a confederacy against us. Why? Because they saw that we had the blessings, man. And that's our salvation, mm -hmm. us, us going up hither, getting mm -hmm. carried up into the clouds. That's the salvation that these nations are going to see, mm -hmm. just like they've seen our captivity. Yep. So these other nations right now, they're beholding our captivity, and they're going to very soon behold our salvation, man. You know, going to that uh, Wisdom of Solomon yep. chapter 5. I go to that, yeah. You know? This is a Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man... Stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him mm -hmm. and made no account of his labors, which is our enemies. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Including when they, two thirds, like you yep. said. When they see it, they shall be troubled with fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Now, Christianity teaches that that uh, the, the son of the most high is going to come back Save everyone. someday. We don't know when, but he's going to come back someday in the near in the far future. And he's going to come back to save everyone. And he's going to come just floating out of the sky. Now, when people actually see the Son of Man coming in, the, in these chariots and they see certain men, women and children getting delivered through what the world calls UFOs, 
The strange. It's going to be a very strange deliverance, man. And that's what they're. That's what you people are getting ready to witness. For those of you that uh, that don't believe, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep going on in verse three, wisdom of Solomon five and three says, "And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves." I'm going back to the people wailing and being in mourning. Because then, then at this point, this is when these people are going to, uh, are, like I said, repenting. All right. Because then they're going to be like, shit, we were fu- we fucked up. These men were right. We should have listened to them. You know. Yeah, that's why they're going to be repenting <laughs> <Yep>. and groaning. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. It says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Come on, let's get this word derision real quick. I got it right here. Okay. All right. Derision. How's it spelled again? Uh, D I. No. Uh, D E R I S I O N. Okay. Derision. All right, read that scripture again. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 3. And they, repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Okay. So that word derision, as you see here on the screen, it says ridicule, mockery. Subject to ridicule or mockery, uh, skip it on down, it says uh, same thing, derision, mockery. It says a laughing to scorn. That's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, man. Mm-hmm. They, they, you, they, they, they mock us. They scoff at us. You know, mm-hmm. we got a blackface cartoons, all these different little uh, shits that they put out there to mock us. Okay. And, and and to go further into it, the talking about the the men of the Lord, the prophets. Yep. All right. They, First they, Chronicles. They, yep. They see us as fools. They mock the messengers of the Most High, man. So that wrath came upon them. Yep. And that's what's going to happen. When their salvation comes, so is the wrath of the Lord going to come. Get there real quick. Uh, um, Chronicles? First Chronicle, oh, or 30, Second Chronicles, or Second Chronicles, chapter 16, yeah. verse uh, 35 or 36. Nice. Uh, it's 36, ain't it? Or 35? Chapter 36, 30, yeah. Oh, 36. That's the last verse. 15 or something like that. I think it's First Chronicles. Oh, kind of so yeah. Oh, maybe not. No, it's, it's Second Chronicles thirty six. It's like fifteen or so, or sixteen. Yep, here it is. Uh, this is for Second Chronicles thirty six fifteen, and in Yahweh the Most High, so like in Yahweh the power of their father sent to them by his messengers, which is talking about Jake, because but they still hold us in derision too. Mm-hmm. You know, we're talking about the the ones that are going to receive that salvation. It says, and, and and still, even to this day, we're only sent to the to to Israel. Yeah, we're not sent it to never these changed, other nations. Yeah. yeah, we we're the Lord Yahweh didn't come back and then just command us completely to send us to Israel and to the no. He said he came. He even himself said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Man, wow. he didn't say he came for the lost sheep of house of Israel and the rest of the heathen. All right, so we still sent out to the to the le- uh, yeah. to Israel, man. Okay. So it, it speaks. It, it's. It's talking about Esau, mm-hmm. but it's, mainly it's talking about the two thirds because they're gonna see us get delivered. You know, mm-hmm. yep. this uh back in Second Chronicles thirty six fifteen in in, in Yahweh, the power of their father sent to them by his messengers, which are the prophets, rising up beat times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, mm-hmm. but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words. And misuse his prophets until the wrath of, of Yahweh arose against his people, so there was no remedy. Okay, and that, that's going into that wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, man. Because once they see us go, their their destruction is going to come. And when we read further down in that wisdom of Solomon, it says that they're, that the, they, they're going to be blown away like the dust, man, in the wind. Okay, they're going to be as the dust of the wind. Meaning they're going to fade away, man. And to oblivion. Okay, that's why it's, it was in Muslim 3. It said they were repenting and groaning. Because mm-hmm. now they want to get right. Once yep. they see, oh shit, you know what? They weren't lying. <laughs> yeah. Now they want to get right. They want to repent. We but they, And they hold us. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, that goes to show you who it's talking about. It's talking about the Israelites when it, when it says in the, repro- in the mm-hmm. proverb of reproach. Who was, who was giving that curse? It was the Israelites. Mm-hmm. Deuteronomy 28. But what? This is really specifically talking about the nation of Israel. Because the heathens ain't going to get it anyway. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, verse 4, we, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 4, We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without number. Mm-hmm. So like, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without n- honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot 
is among the saints. Kind of so, so that scripture where uh, in the in the New Testament, in the Gospels, where it said two uh, two shall be in the field and one shall be taken up. All right. That's what these people are going to be like, because they're going to see that one get taken up, and that's going to be a man of the Lord. And then we read in Revelation that the en our enemies shall behold us. Yep. That, that begins with the nation of Israel, man, because we have enemies of our own nation. But then, of course, it, it, it goes on to the heathens, but mainly our people, man. Okay. Let's get that word enemy real quick. Uh, it was in Revelation uh, 11 and 12. I'm going to get the etymology. Okay. okay. So enemy... It says one hateful toward and intent on harming, and there, are they not the those that abuse, killed the prophets? Just, yeah, we just read they abused us, <laughs> misused yep. us. Yep. Are they not the ones that were killing the prophets? The the the, the two thirds or those were the first. Matter of fact, two uh, the two thirds of Israel killed the biggest prophet of them all, man. Yahweh yeah. Shai. They delivered him up. Yep. They delivered him up. All right. But they the wanted him on, dead. They said it out of their own mouth. Let his blood, Let the be, blood on. be on our hands. Yep. So that's who our enemies are, man. That's a part of our enemies. For those of you that think, oh well, how you gonna, why you, why you enemies with your own people? Yeah. What, are you, what, are we, what do you mean, man? Go. Have you done history? How stupid can you be? <laughs> how stupid can you be, man? You niggas wanna, you niggas kill each other on the streets, but yeah. you, 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 you saying that you ain't enemies against each other, yeah. man? But then we, we, why they wonder why we hate them? <laughs> Here it is, they kill each other on the streets, but then they wonder why we hate the Lord hates you, man. Yep. The You're Lord hates you, the Lord, man. man. <laughs> Yep. Anybody Enemy who, of the state. What, the state what of Israel. Yahushua say? He said, those that are not with me are against <laughs> me, man. Yeah, they that uh, uh, gather not with me scatter at the problem, man. Kind of exactly, man. You're either with us or you're not. Yep. And uh, again, you, you're an enemy of the state. The state of, the state of Israel, man. The commonwealth of Israel. The truth, which Israel is a people for a place. Mm-hmm. All right? Yep. So the, uh, we'll close out on this. This okay. is Baruch 4 and 25, back in Baruch 4. Verse 25, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. See, that, that's, that, that goes mainly for Esau, Edom, but our, our, the two-thirds of our people, man. Because they persecuted. They, they not, well, how should I say, if they had persecuted me, they would persecute you. Uh, two-thirds of our people are going to persecute us. We're going to see their demise because two-thirds of our people are going to be put to death. Mm -hmm. But that goes for Esau as well. But we don't care about Esau. Esau, is, he's already, he's on, it's on wax. It's going to happen to him. Two-thirds of our people, you, you got something troublesome coming for you, man. So it's twofold, man. Mm -hmm. Well, really, the, it, you are, you're a heathen. Then. If you're a two-third, you're a heathen. Mm -hmm. Scriptures say that if you, you know, admonish them and then cast them out as a heathen and a publican. So you're just, you're just, you're going to receive the same reward as the wicked, which is Esau Edom. So you're in the same boat as Esau Edom. All right. It says, uh, let me read it again. It says, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So mainly it's talking about Esau because two thirds are going to be good in the kingdom. But they, regardless, the, the, uh, the two thirds of the ones that persecuted us, they're going to see, we're going to see their destruction. They're going to see our salvation. Mm -hmm. All right. Not all of them, but yep, they're going to see it. Yep, because we're going to see them burning in that lake of fire, man. Exactly. Right Pursu along with Esau, Edom. Yep, pursuant yeah. to uh, Revelation uh, 20, 20, and I believe uh, 10, you know. They're going to be those that were deceived into getting the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the worship beast. Worship the beast, yep. Yeah, and that worshiped his image. All right, they're going to be cast into to that lake of fire, man. And we're going to see it. We're going to see yourself. We're going to see your deliverance, because really that's your deliverance. Yeah. That's your. That's the deliverance of the two thirds being, uh, uh, like Rev, uh, Second Ezra chapter, nine, chapter nine says the same shall know it by death by pain, yeah. man. That's your deliverance, pain. Okay. But with that, you know, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. Double honor to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. And much blessing and salutations to the Akim who are diligently pushing out this truth and its truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Aqua, who are learning in quietness and meekness. Shalom. Shalom.